This unusual vehicle can climb an alpine road at more than 50 km an hour and has 270 km autonomy. It's the brainchild of Fabrice André, French engineer and inventor. The technology is based on the slow discharge from one battery to another in order to achieve maximum autonomy. And you can always use the pedals. We met Fabrice on his bike some 2,000 kilometers up high, above the Alpe d'Huez, where he chose to settle down some 10 years ago. I wanted to build a place in the middle of nowhere and prove that I could be totally energy independent. That didn't just mean electric autonomy, but also for heating, for the garden, the vegetable plot and for transport. The refuge is an Aladdin's cave of ideas and energy supplying tricks. The priorities are independence and comfort. The refuge is built with logs from trees that came down in a storm. When it comes to installation, a 20 centimeter thick log is as good as 2 meters of glass wall. Then there's compression. The more the building ages, the more waterproof it will become. It's the weight that ensures it's waterproof. This is a vertical windmill with variable geometry blades. See how it speeds up? Has the wind picks up? It closes up. When the wind weakens, it opens up completely. It's virtually indestructible because on a very windy day, it will adapt and turn into a cylinder. And when you produce energy, you also have to control energy emissions. The chalet is equipped with a phytopurification basin. You collect all the waste water from the building. It's reoxygenized before being put back into nature. Here you can see the Canadian waterweed which is finishing off the job. This is a solar tracking system. It's a mirror which reflects the sun onto the northern side of the building, which helps clear the snow by melting it rather than having to use a spade. And when there is neither sun nor wind, household waste can always come in handy. Fabrice's boiler burns it all, even plastic, without causing any harm to the environment. It's a special kind of boiler. When the temperature exceeds 1600 degrees, you can burn materials such as plastic and polystyrene, which can be particularly polluting. It's the high temperature which degrades the toxic molecules. Here the temperature is 1400 degrees. The season's first guests haven't arrived yet, and the living room table is a mayhem of inventions, especially so-called free energy specimens. The electric current travels through the air and ends up in these two balls. So you have this exchange between the two generators. One is a transmitter, the other a receptor. The electrons between the two, which are all around us, are pumped into the system. Between the Earth and infinity, there are certainly more resources than between our feet and the center of the Earth. We're only aware of an infinite part of this. Now we're on to free energy. We're no longer looking at renewables, but at procedures where human intelligence allows us to fulfill our needs on a small scale. That's like 2 kilowatts, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you know how to balance out your charges and stock the energy you don't need, that would be the perfect answer to our energy needs for the chalet.